Hey VC, Rock Chica here, and I'm going to jump in on the vinyl tag. I know it's probably uh, waning down, but I uh, finally had some time to do this and get all my records together, so here we go. Uh, how many albums do you own? Well, uh, just an estimate. I'm going to say about 5,000. And what you're looking at here, up here is my 90s current stuff. Down here in the shelf below is all 80s and I have classic rock, jazz, country western soundtracks, classical, comedy, miscellaneous stuff. So about 5,000. Uh, what record player do you have? I have a VPI record player. How old were you when you started collecting records? Uh, probably about 10. Uh, I had a little, and I still have it, um, a little portable record player. And um, so there you have it. Oldest record. Uh, probably the oldest record that I have is uh, one of these. And this is a quarter inch Edison disc. And I have three of these. I picked them up just because I thought they were cool. And the oldest one that I have, I believe, is 1920. <laughs> So let me just see if I can find that one. They're very fragile. Uh, if you look at the top, there's a number at the very top. And this one says 50540. So that should be April of 1920. And instead of B and A side, they had R and L, so right and left. So there you go. So that's my oldest record, 1920. Uh, first record. The first record, and I've said this before on another tag, is uh, this one, the Banana Splits. And I got this in September of 1969. So I was uh, a wee tot, we'll just say that. So. Uh, and I added my own custom label there, put some stickers on it. So, my first record. Uh, let's see. First with my own money. That one I really don't know. Um, I couldn't say. I really have no idea. So, I'm going to pass on that one, I guess. So, we'll just. If anything, maybe Duran Duran Rio. That might be it, but I really don't even remember buying it, even though it's one of my favorite favorite records. Um, colored vinyl. All right, that one I have right here, nice and handy, and that would be uh, Derek Kagan's Flyover. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful colored record. And here it is. I think someone else showed this one as well. And you really can't beat that. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it sounds great. The record is fabulous. The music is great. Highly recommend it. Uh, let's see. Discount record. Discount record would be this one here. Brian Eno. And uh, I picked this one up. Um, a couple months ago at a local record store, brand new. Uh, this is a record store day release. And uh, they had it in a discount bin for 10 bucks. And the reason why I picked this up is because all the VC always talking about Brian Eno, Brian Eno, Brian Eno. So I decided, well, I'd try some Brian Eno. And of course, the VC is correct. Great, great record. And I'm looking to pick up more. Brian Eno for my collection. I'm a Roxy Music fan, so I don't, you know, of course I'd like Brian Eno. Alright, so let's uh, keep going. Prize Possession. 
All right, so I have a few prized possessions, but I figured I'd go with this. Uh, picked this up at an estate sale, and I've shown this before. Uh, signed a copy, signed by Chet Atkins on his record sales. And it is a gold stamp promo, as you can see there. So, picked this up at an estate sale. Alright, uh, next, female artist. Well, I'm going to go with this because I've uh, been playing her recently. Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Sharon Jones, totally awesome. Fun, fun, great singer. If you like soul, R&B, funk, definitely get some Sharon Jones. Highly recommend her. All right, uh, let's see. Album of my favorite band. Okay, this is my favorite album from my favorite band, uh, Foo Fighters. Love this album. Um, the Pretender, Let It Die. My favorite song off of here is Come Alive. Totally awesome. Highly recommend this. If you're going to get one Foo Fighters album, get this one. This is it. Uh, let's see. Impulse Buy. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, this is the one that I picked for Impulse Buy. Again, an estate sale find. And I purchased this because of the picture on the cover. You have a young Queen Elizabeth there. And I'm guessing that's her sister behind her meeting Frankie Lane. So how cool is that? I just thought, you know, gotta have this. So haven't listened to it yet, but I really just love the picture. So that was an impulse buy. Uh, let's see here. Okay, gift. Okay, this was a gift, a birthday gift from my husband. An original single soundtrack LP and this is an import item. I want to say it's from Korea or somewhere like that, but it sounds great, plays great. I totally, totally wanted this on vinyl. I play the heck out of the CD uh, when it came out. Love this soundtrack, one of my absolute favorites. So that's a gift. Uh, most listened to LP. Uh, I didn't pull anything out for that. This definitely ranks up there for one of my most listened to. Uh, I would also say uh, Duran Duran Rio, Billy Idol Rebel Yell, Roxy Music Avalon, so uh, Jane's Addiction, so you know, there's there's tons. I listen to them all. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Rarity. Okay, speaking of Jane's Addiction, I'm going to go ahead and show this. Uh, this is an original press. Gold stamp promo here at the bottom. Another one of my favorite bands, Jane's Addiction. Absolutely love them. Love them. Okay, uh, let's see. Rainy Day Record. Rainy Day Record. I'm going to go with this. Donald Fagan Nightfly. It's got this, you know, just really smooth, you know, where you can stay inside the house and bebop around. And again, this is highly recommended. Love it. Love it. So you have that. Uh, let's see, feel good record. Then I'm gonna go with this uh, Galactica or Galactic, sorry. Uh, this is similar to the Budos band. It's really kind of a funk, get up and dance type album. Galactic, definitely check them out. Great, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, nostalgic, nostalgic record. 
I'm gonna go with this. Uh, Marry My Hope. This is a sealed copy of Marry My Hope. Uh, my husband and I saw them way back in the day at a club and it was probably one of the most the most fun concerts that we ever went to. We didn't know that they were going to be there. We didn't know who they were. Um, definitely one of the best concerts we ever saw. Too bad they didn't make it big. Absolutely great album. If you see it, pick it up. I have uh, three copies of this. So definitely nostalgic, nostalgic uh, record. And let's see. Um, record store day pickup. I'm going to show this Joan Jett. Totally awesome. This is a great record. I've played it quite a few times since I bought it. So, um, and that'll also be another woman moment on the record. And a recent purchase. Pick this up at the uh, record show yesterday. Japanese pressing to pretenders. Another one of my absolute favorite albums. I'd play the heck out of this one too, so that could also go for that. Uh, just got that yesterday. So, or sorry, Saturday. So, day before yesterday. And I think that's it. So, thanks, VC. Check you out later. Bye.